Now say you're sorry! <laughs> Are you sorry yet? <laughs> He's pretty much gonna just explode in value from this point on. So what we're gonna do is kill him and then we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, that's basically game. I don't know what he could possibly, like he, he just shuffled 50 birds into a Highlander deck and the Highlander deck still couldn't be stopped. I'll drink to that. What's up guys, Crispy Waffles back once again with another Highlander Mage tutorial to help you on your journey all the way to Legend rank and beyond. Today we're gonna mix it up a bit. Recently it has come to my attention that Druids have been giving some of you quite a bit of trouble. Now since Embiggen Druid, Quest Druid, and Token Druid all have completely different play styles, it can get pretty tricky, but fear not. We're gonna make sure you're armed with the knowledge to handle all the above. We also have a game in here against one of those pesky albatross priests. And since I know how much you all love having a deck full of birds, be sure to stick around until the end for that. If you've got any tips or questions, maybe I missed something, or maybe you just want to talk, be sure to drop a comment below. I always love to hear from you guys. And if you enjoy my stuff, maybe hit the like button so I know that you like it. Like and subscribe or else I'll play priest. Yeah, Let's do this! Without further delays, let's get right back into the meat and potatoes of it here. Hope you're sat back, relaxed, have a nice cup of coffee or tea or... One viewer said they enjoy puppies and cake. I mean, I'm a few beers in and I've got some cats all around me here, so puppies and cake, cats and beers, whatever's your fancy. Now, I'm a little bit drunk, you'll have to forgive me for rambling here, but I'll try and stay focused. So we don't really want the Ray of Frost, we'd rather get some kind of minions for value. Uh, the Arcane Intellect's okay, he's not gonna have the strongest early game, so we'll be able to draw some cards. We got that Reno for a really solid board clear, and we did draw into the Malagos, which will be nice. Oh, it is Token Druid, so that's a bit unexpected, but, uh, so it is gonna be pretty much an aggro matchup. We'll use the Hero Power for now, that'll clear his minion, and worst case scenario, we can use that Arcane Intellect next turn. Be good if we could hit some kind of early game. Ooh, drew into the Witch Doctor, so I think we'll go for that instead. It is really nice to get some kind of value on the board. Don't want him to take off in value. Uh, Blizzard's going to be beautiful for <laughs> removal. It's one of the best options in-game, especially for this matchup. Okay, he's going to be drawing some cards, filling the board a little bit, but that's still pretty manageable for us. So we've got some pretty solid options in hand. I'm okay just using the Hero Power for now. Uh, we really want to keep the board as manageable as possible, so if he does go for a buff, like in the token druid matchup, you really want to assume that he could always have that wild growth, he could always have that double, uh, whatever the three cost spell is with twin spell that gives all the minions 1-1. One, one. Uh, you also want to keep the savage roars in mind, so if he has 7-1-1s one, on board, that's really, really scary. Uh, some druids don't run savage roar, but just in case they are, you really want to keep that in mind. Now, a little bit funny to not use the hero power right after I said that, but the Maligos is a 2-8. That's just some incredible value. That's going to let us start taking down a minion at a turn. Uh, the Frost Nova will be great in this matchup. We already got the free Blizzard. We have a Frost Nova in the deck still. We have another Blizzard in the deck. So any option we can get to freeze the board, just in case he does manage to take off with the uh, buffs or even uh, the Death Rattle, you also want to keep in mind that the uh, Soul of the Forest, I believe, that gives every minion the Death Rattle summon a 2-2. That screwed me over a few times in the past. That's a 9 health board. Uh, we already have a 2-8 out, so the Reno is going to be beautiful here. It brings everything down so we, we don't have to worry about the buffs anymore. Start just taking out at least two minions a turn. Oh, he is coining out that 8-8 eight, eight with Rush. Uh, beautiful that we can get him to use it this early on. He hasn't played too many trends. So that's his whole turn to do that. So we'll get out the Mountain Giant. We'll blow the Frost Nova. We still have the better one and the Blizzard uh, with a Blizzard in deck as well. So plenty of freeze options. We might even be able to just race him down here. Blowing his whole turn again just to get that 5-10 with Taunt. Uh, the longer the game goes, the more valuable that will be. But I think we're in a great position to just rush him down. We'll clear that minion. We just drew the Conjurer's Calling, so that's insane. Uh, we'll conjure the Giant, obviously. And we could conjure the Giant again, but we have the Alex Alexstrasza in hand. We might be able to get more than 8-8 eight, eight in value. Okay, so we got an 8-9 in value rather than an 8-8. Eight, eight. That's a bit better. Like, we <laughs> could have done a lot better, but I think that's still a lot better than the 4-1 and a second Giant. And that'll do it for us. Uh, he's 
pretty much gonna just explode in value from this point on. So what we're gonna do is kill him, and then we don't have to worry about it. Sounds good. Right, and that is just absolutely fantastic. That turn nine, Alex draws a lethal. Gotta love it. Take him down before anything becomes a problem. It's as easy as that. Keep the action going here. Another worthy opponent. Let's see what we got this time around. Oh, we do have another druid. So if you read between the lines and use the laws of averages, uh, token druid isn't the most common matchup right now. I feel like this is a lot more likely to be either embiggen druid or quest druid. We're going to toss that uh, Ziliax. Just <laughs> don't have the coin. Way too expensive. I would have tossed the Twilight Drake, but we did have the Witch Doctor. So we will hold on to it. Uh, it's not like we're holding on to a turn 9 or something. And like it's perfectly playable on turn 4. But I just feel it's worth mentioning that if we didn't have the Witch Doctor in hand, we would have tossed the uh, Twilight Drake there. And it is going to be a quest druid. So in this matchup, we want to take off in as much value as we can early on, make him blow as much of his removal before he finishes the quest, so he loses out on all that value. Uh, Book of Spectre is going to take it there. If we had the Zephyr in hand, we would have gone for the Evocation, but I like that we uh, can refill our hand. Uh, we don't really have to worry about tossing out that Stargazer Luna anymore. We can hold on to it. And he didn't play any minions, so we're obviously going to try and draw some cards. A little bit unfortunate that we discarded the Book of Spectres. But uh, I like that we got to use it a turn early because of that Fire Tree Witch Doctor. So it's not exactly a waste. Like now we can toss out that uh, Bone Wraith or the Mountain Giant that much earlier on if we had to. Or we don't have to worry about using the Book of Spectres on this turn. Uh, we're obviously going to want to clear that minion as soon as possible. And Spellbender would be pretty nice, but I feel like we can do a bit better with the Magic Trick. Uh, that was a mistake. We should have gone with the Spellbender, but, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. You can take chances every now and then, and the splitting image isn't useless. It's just the spell, but the la la. <laughs> the Spellbender would have been slightly more better. Like, if you were to pick it there, I wouldn't blame you for it at all. Uh, we weren't exactly able to generate the scariest board for the early game, but it's not the biggest issue. I mean, our hand is beautiful. And we're going to toss out that Twilight Drake before the Mountain Giant here. Uh, yeah, the Mountain Giant has more attack, but health is what we're looking at. We want to blow his Crucial Removal as well. Uh, so hopefully he can't take out the Mountain Giant. I mean, you got to expect he'll be able to, but if not, all the better for us. So we're baiting out the Loki. He's uh, doing a bit of damage to our minion, but he isn't going to clear it. The only way we could possibly clear the Loki is with a Reno or a Zephyr, and we do have the Zephyr, so I feel like we should go for it. Uh, just keep the pressure up, keep building that board, maybe bait out some more of his crucial removal that he's going to want for later on once we play our uh, really big minions. Oh, bait note, that Starfall, that's beautiful. Like, the fact that he didn't attack with the Loki makes me think that he really wanted to uh, hold on to it and uh, was really hoping that we wouldn't have a clear for it. So obviously we're going to just keep that tempo going, keep him on his toes every single turn. Pretty lucky of him to have both those zero cost minions in hand. But we'll get that Mountain Giant out, capitalize on that secret we got earlier. Uh, with any luck, he won't be able to take out both of them. Oh, he is able to do it with that Oasis Surger, but we have a secret out, so uh, I think he was testing it for the Mirror Entity first, he was testing it for the Counter Spell next, Power of Wild, that's beautiful, and like he's got to worry about the Splitting Image and the Vaporize Flame Strike. He went for the face first, that's beautiful, so he won't be able to clear both Mountain Giants. Unless he has that random one cut spell in hand, uh, we'll have to see, but I think think that he should have attacked the Mountain Giant first. Beautiful! Alright, so we got a free Mountain Giant out. Now we'll clear that taunt with the Mountain Giant, still gonna have half its health, and then that lets us wipe out the rest of the board with the Reno. Now we got that 8-4 and the 4-6 in value. His hand's gonna be down to just those four cards. Uh, he's really on the ropes here. Oh, innervating out of Sonaris. So now his hand's down to just two, uh, three after he draws. Uh, going into turn nine, we're definitely tossing out Dragon Queen Alex Straza. No reason not to. Just so much value there. Holy f***. <laughs> gave us Ysira. Okay, we're tossing out all these minions. Just maximizing in board value. Uh, he'll be able to keep that one minion alive after betrayed, but not at all a concern. <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically game. 
I don't know what he could possibly... Like, he wasted three mana there to draw, so there's no way he's taking out the whole board. <laughs> um, all right, and we just barely don't have lethal. Uh, let's see if we can get something off the Malagos. The Fireball would do it for us. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, just barely can't. Uh, we'll get the missiles. Uh, his hand's really low. I don't think he'll be able to flood the board. Let's just keep building up that value. Trade with the uh, Ysira because it'll be able to remain at the 7 health. And br we'll bring him down to 11 now. Getting another minion. Would have been nice to get a spell, but... Hidden Oasis, okay. Oh my god, that's all he could... Okay, good game. We'll clear that with Ysira... Or... Jesus Christ, minion names. Okay. <laughs> so we'll clear that with you. See, I see you, Matt. Okay. It's a <laughs> too many beer. Okay. <laughs> and that's going to give us a lethal. Let's uh, blow the missiles. Uh, obviously got to get the most overkill possible. That uh, six damage overkill. We just barely couldn't have got seven, I think. I might have missed it if we could have overkilled him by seven. Uh, let me know down below in the comments if I did. But I'm pretty sure that we got the most overkill there. All right, let's keep it going here. Oh, we got a priest. That's beautiful. Oh, I love it. We get a priest. So we just had two druids in a row. Now we get two control matchups in a row. Man, I'm a sucker for consistency. Gotta love it. <laughs> Can't think of another matchup off the top of my head that we'd want to keep the turtle in. But it is a chance at the Galaxy, and Priest has basically no early game, so we're definitely going to keep that. The uh, Reno is a really good board clear in case he... I, I don't think he's going to be combo, but if he is, he is. Um, we don't really want the Snip Snap. We don't want the Bone Wraith. If he is Quest Priest, any early board presence or damage we can get through with isn't going to be the biggest deal. You can really get away with being greedy with the Mulligan in this matchup. We were lucky enough to draw a Pocket Galaxy. That's beautiful. We can save the Turtle for a board clear. Oh, he played the turn three albatross. That son of a... Okay. So we got three options to deal with that in the deck. The Maligos with the Polymorph, the Zephyr, and the Amazing Reno. Uh, we don't have a single one in hand. We'll ping it for now. I don't really have any other option. <laughs> um, at least that takes up his whole turn healing it. And we got the Dragoncaster. So we can go for the turn five Pock Galaxy. Gonna get that Mountain Giant out. Keep him on his toes. Turn 5 Galaxy, that is incredibly strong. Like, I don't have the words to describe how strong that is. Uh, that, like, Blizzard nerfed it back to 7. That's all I have to say there. <laughs> um, he wasn't able to clear the Mountain Giant, obviously, uh, since he went for that Resurrect instead. Uh, we're going to go for that Pocket Galaxy. We'll take out the Psycho Pomp. Uh, that lets us keep the Mountain Giant alive. Puts at least one minion that's not an Albatross in the pool of minions to <laughs> Resurrect. So... Hopefully he can't just shuffle 30 of those damn birds into our deck. So he's going to go for the obvious trade there. He was minion up to full, and with any luck we can bait out some removal to clear that mountain giant. Beautiful. And something that's better than nothing. Now we can take out that albatross with a hero power. Um, and yeah. Now we got six birds in the deck. That really, really sucks. <laughs> At least we got the Pocket Galaxy. Oh my god, he plays Vargoth. Okay, so he's got like three Albatrosses and a Vargoth. <laughs> uh, so we got to clear that right away with the Sea of Matt. Uh, we got some value out, so hopefully he's focused on clearing that. But this is really bad for us. We got so many birds in the deck. Uh, he's able to clear it and invoke, and now he's got three Albatrosses with a Vargoth and a uh, at least one Psycho Pomp in the minions to resurrect. Power creation might keep us in the game. The, uh, we don't have anything to capitalize with that spell damage, so we'll get the Sunwalker. At least that'll soak a few uh, board removals, or... No, <laughs> it would have been nice if he blew the Plague of Death, but... Uh, yeah, see, that's what happens. <laughs> he gets the Vargoth out and then just resurrects everything. Uh, so we want a Frost Nova, we'll keep that clear, uh, Flame Strike will, I guess that'll do just as good, we can at least keep the board under control, but we have an absurd amount of birds in the deck now, uh, I don't think we're ever gonna get our Highlander cards off, thank god we got that Pocket Galaxy off, or we would be 
in uh, just a brutal position at the moment. We're going to use that Arcane Breath. As good as the Polymorph would be, I feel like it's too late at this point. We've killed so many really powerful minions. One more sheep in the pool isn't going to do any good. Oh, Mass Resurrection, okay. And he's going to do that a few more times. Get some more birds, some more Vargoths. That's just awesome. <laughs> Great. Uh, so we'll go over the Caligos. Uh, see what we can discover. Frost Nova, that's beautiful. We could go for the puzzle box, but I don't really want to risk it yet. I feel like we haven't quite lost the game. We're just in a brutal position. So we're going to face him for everything. Uh, he's down to 13 health now with a frozen board. Hopefully we can get him to plague a death his own minions. <laughs> oh, he did go for the breath though. Uh, we're going to take out the Caligos, obviously, with the Forbidden Words, but that's a few more removal options, and if he gets two more of those... <laughs> yeah, there it is. Okay, so... At least he took out the board for us. <laughs> we didn't have a removal option, but the... But the army of Argoths seem to have done uh, just fine. <laughs> okay, so let's see what secret we can get first. If we can get two counter spells here, uh, one with the Keysmith, that would be beautiful. Uh, it's not going to be an option, but splitting image might do okay. We'll conjure the Keysmith to get quite a bit more value. Oh, the 8-8-4 eight, eight, cost. I don't know what we could have got that would have been better. We'll hold on to the Counterspell because he does have to test the waters for a Counterspell now. His hand's a little bit low, so if he doesn't have, like if he's only got one or two spells in hand, that's going to limit his options. Uh, the Grave Room's a little brutal. <laughs> it would have been nice to counter that, but just wasn't really worth it. Uh, so we'll see what we can get. The Pyroblast, yeah. That'll at least give us a chance here with all these birds. <laughs> Speaking of birds, let's toss them out here. Maybe soak it with a death rattle. It'd be nice if we could keep our uh, valuable minions alive. Of course he's able to <laughs> hit the 8-8. But, I mean, we were unlucky here. Maybe we'll be lucky later on when it matters. Maybe that Pyroblast used up all our luck. You never know. But we are going to play the Counterspell. Another Albatross. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Well, at least counter that. That's, uh, that's something. He attacked the Witch Doctor instead of a bird first, too. So that's, like, it's a bit of value. Uh, we could at least take out the board here with the Blizzard. <laughs> like, our options are extremely limited. Ooh, we got the Snip Snap. Much better than uh, one of the birds that half our deck consists of. <laughs> so we're going to wipe the board here. Um, it would be nice to get a bit of value out with the Snip Snap, but since we're pretty likely to draw into yeah, all for the next few turns, <laughs> we'll hold on to it. Uh, then we can at least play four at once. And his health is pretty low, so if we can swing through with just a bit of damage, we might be able to sneak out a win. Oh boy, the cloning gallery. Okay, so this is just went from bad to worse. Uh, of course, we draw a bird. <laughs> We're going to play a bunch of snip snaps here. At least his minions are only 1-1. One, one. It's going to suck when he starts resurrecting them. Uh, it would be nice to clear that with the hero power, but I feel like with the amount of snip snaps, especially with those death rattles, um, at least we'll be able to trade the board with it. Lethal isn't really going to be an option anymore. Unless we top deck the Amazing Reno because of all those Carhut defenders. But, I mean, it's pretty likely he'll attack with them here, so Reno won't really be an option anymore. I mean, we're down, but we're not out. You gotta stay in the game, you never know. Like, just one lucky guard. Like, in theory, all we really need is the Stargazer Luna, and then we could draw, like, six birds with it and be, like, right back in the game. Uh, if we got an Arcane Intellect off the draw, that could basically give us access to our Highlander cards. Just never surrender. We can do this. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to clear that 1-1 with the Hero Power like we wanted to do last turn. 
Um, might as well take out as much of his board as we're able to. I don't really have any removal options in hand. So we'll play the birds here. Or actually, uh, since Pyroblast is uh, right next to the bird, we'll hold on to one here just in case we are lucky enough to draw that Stargazer Luna. Uh, you never know. Heart of the cards and all that. At least this way, if we do draw it, we're not just completely screwed. We can capitalize on it right away. Oh my god, we go. Oh, yes, go, 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 go. Okay. Get that army of birds out. Gonna draw every one of them here. Keep going. We get that bone wraith out. Yeah, wow. Damn right, wow. <laughs> Your stupid bird magic has no effect on me. Let's get those, uh,. Keep that Book of Spectres going. Draw another few birds. Even getting that Maligos out. So we'll clear his minion. Uh, play the Maligos. I think that's going to be all we can draw this time. Oh, we got the Fireball. Okay, with the Pyroblast in hand, we're back in this game. That's going to be 18 damage. We got the one cost Alexstrasza. So with any luck, we can nuke him down. Uh, we're down to one mana, so we can't really ping a minion and keep going but that's gonna be great now he's got to worry about clearing that luna we got the bone there law oh my god <laughs> i'm too excited we got the bone wraith to defend it oh we used up his plague of death for that <laughs> okay so uh we're gonna play the twilight drake that's a 410 in value uh we're gonna bring him down to 15 health here like he's just got five in hand so he's doesn't have the most options we can conjure that alex Straza now we got a huge threatening board out Get the 8 damage off the fireball, so he's down to 7. Uh, like, I think he's going to be most concerned with getting taunts out or clearing the board. He's not going to do more than heal himself with the hero power here. And even if he does, like... Okay, so he's going for the... Uh, good game. We did it. <laughs> oh. He didn't even let his pyro blast him. He knew. He is so pissed off right now. He just shuffled 50 birds into a Highlander deck, and the Highlander deck still couldn't be stopped. Oh, I love it. I'll drink to that. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Thanks for sticking around all the way until the end of the video. People like you are the reason my channel's been taken off so well. I hope this has helped you on your journey to dominate with mage, or at least entertained you along the way. Quick shout out to all my lovely fans. These videos take a while to make, but the unreal love and support from you guys makes dropping these videos the highlight of my day time and time again. If you want to be a part of the best community on YouTube, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, which also grows my channel, which is pretty awesome. If I forgot something or you have any tips or questions, drop a comment below. I try to read every single one, and if you like the video, you can like it. <laughs> Until next time, stay beautiful. Love you. Are you sorry yet? <laughs> <laughs>